Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Okay, let's see what happens today. Five minute auto pairing. 71 title players are on at the moment, it's quite fun. So ZTFS, he's not one of them, but from Switzerland, Dutch defense, I'll play Dutch defense, and then grad. System. Would he play with Queen B3? I mean, um, I think there's a way of White getting an advantage of Queen B3 and C5 later. Will he know that? Yes. <laughs> it's just my luck. He's going to put pressure on the Queen side and play for C5. He's going to do all the right things. Let's assume he's going to do all the right things. <laughs> and his rating when it's not five minutes. His, um, his maximum one minute rating is 1897 and his maximum three minute rating is 2144. Okay, should I be worried? Okay, let's get on with the game. C5? I'm not sure about that because C5. For some reason, I like C5. It marks out D4. So if I get this t going time travel though, uh, that might be an idea given his bullet achievement. Um, bullet rating. So I'm playing for f4. f4 by white, knight g4. I've got bishop d4 after. So this f4 looks juicy to me. Very juicy indeed. With f3 on the cards. This is a juicy um, Leningrad at the moment. I got what I wanted from the opening. I'm threatening f3 to sort of imprison that bishop, if nothing else. He's been up to 2322, believe it or not, on the 5 minute auto pairing, 26th of March 2013. Um, but he's letting me imprison his bishop. Now can I actually do anything concretely with that? I mean it looks so good, I'm going to play it, you know? It, I'm just going to play it. Um, okay, so stop knight b5 I guess he could try and win this pawn and the queen right, so let's keep an um, eye on this pawn oh it's going to drop off mind you there's bishop h6 to kick that guy unless he wants to lose the exchange which he might do because of this diagonal whoops well, let's check I don't know would he do that would he do that exchange sack I don't know if bishop d2 is cleverer. Not really. Knight rook takes. Mm, this is going to get tricky, isn't it, with my king? If I just take it and hope for the best. Check. It's with check. So he's going for my king. There's knight g4. I don't know. Queen g. Oh, he's on the e6. There's bishop d4 here. The new pins. Um, is this really backfiring? What about e5? Can I play e5 and hope for the best? Is all his pieces getting good after e5? Uh, if I get my king off this diagonal, I'm threatening things like bishop d4. h6 immediately. What about h6 immediately? So takes, takes, 96, just take. Gets that d5 square for his knight. Hmm. <clears throat> He's got e5 potentially on g queen g6. Right, He's giving up. He's playing very energetic. They're giving up the pawn here. Right. What is going on here? I play rook c8. Is that terrible? Bishop d4, knight c7. But just taking queen e5. The exchange down takes knight e7. That knight's huge. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I was looking forward to the position earlier. Now he's like made it a lot less fun, I gotta say. I'm gonna run into something horrible, aren't I? I'll try not to be pessimistic. Bishop d4, hope for the best. Hmm, Queen g4, it's 97. What about just this? To protect c7, that means I can move my queen. Or double here for rook f4, maybe later. Or I'll double for a moment. Uh, queen g4 gives me knight f4 on the cards. Queen h3 here. Would queen h3 lose? I'm not sure it would necessarily. There's maybe knight takes f4 is threatened. Before it takes queen f3. Knight takes f4, maybe a good counter exchange sack. In the circumstance, I'd be happy if he's down to his last minute. Um, yeah, tea, tea time. <clears throat> Simple tea, caffeine. Um, why do I feel worse even though I'm the exchange up? I think there's a reason for that. Uh, my queen hasn't got too many squares. It's got knight e3, so it's kicking me around. It's having fun kicking me around. I'm torturing that knight. Knight takes rook f4, takes a knight g7. Well, let's do that. Check. <clears throat> So e6, I hold that d5 square for a moment. I could try and unpin this piece. I don't like having pin pieces generally. Knight g4 is also dangerous on h6. Also e5 coming up. So this one to protect g6. Okay. Maybe knight f5 if needed. Ah, oh, if desperate. I don't want him um, playing h5 in a hurry. What about this? Try and get that g file. Well, it takes um, knight f5 here. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to surprise him. I want rook g3 in a counter attack on this g file. So I get it's a piece for a pawn. It'd be two pawns. Don't know, hitting the knight if this all, all goes well. Thankfully, my rook and queen are holding things at the moment. Unless he's got something painful here. Um, I hope not. He's got rook d6 or something disgusting coming up. Wait, can I unpin? Oh. He just calmly plays that. He's got checks Check. and stuff. Would he just go back? Huh? He's got me in some sort of bind, hasn't he, really? I'll ump him with this? Check. What would he do? Play bishop f5 after that? Wow. Can I find something else to do here? Oh, let's just wait for bishop f5. Would he really do that? Okay, he hasn't yet. So, why not rook g3? No, because it's pinned. That's why. e5 for rook g3? He's down to his last 20 seconds. Now he plays this. It's dangerous looking. I've got queen e2 check. Check. I'm trying to pick up his rook. That's queen g4 after. Everyone plays these really vicious moves. I don't expect them to play these moves. Actually, Queen H1 would have been. Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah. Blimey. Nothing's easy. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. 
drama. I had such a dream position, and he goes and does an exchange sack. And these people have followed Petrosian or something? Spassky, Petrosian? Petrosian against Spassky? What a horrible concept that he lets me have my pawn there. Knight d1 apparently is better for white. <laughs> that is a that is a Petrosian-esque sacrifice. Oh, blimey, look at this variation. Wow. Made it look so good and tempting Check. to do this. Now here, this is apparently okay for black. Yeah. Yeah, it's just assessed the dynamics quite well or something. No, white's better now. I thought white looked better. The engine's suggesting E5 all the time. Yeah. What is this? Unbelievable. Check. I wonder what... Yeah, I just thought it was a passive position. H5... Okay, holding the position like this is an idea. I wanted to try and surprise him. And he didn't go back. Now, if he did go back, then that would be nice. Check. Um, but he didn't. He just keeps the pin. Check. Annoyingly, Check. keep retaining this pin. And he does that. Yeah, I think that does have a weakness to it. That's terrible. Now, if he played rook d5, this is more plausible. Check. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube. Thank you very much.